just trying to survive and learn to love along the way by foreplay on AO3. Episode 97, Chapter 97 of Communication and a Lack Thereof. Morning, Eraser. I'm the detective in charge today. The man doesn't even give Shota his name. Where's Sukalji? He's the detective Shota was expecting. He's a lot more agreeable than other cops. They've got a solid work relationship, and Shota would even say that they're friends outside of that. The man eyes Shota's students behind him, before leaving in to whisper. Some league business came up? Shota sighed, but doesn't push. The League of Villains investigation is important. If something big enough for Sukauchi to pass his role in the raid onto someone else came up, Shota will just have to trust in his friend. I see. Are the communication devices ready? Absolutely. Right this way, kids. The detective turns and heads towards the table, a little further into the station. His students are all handed communications devices, and the detective goes through a tutorial for them. Everything is going smoothly. There's a tug on his sleeve. Shota looks down and finds Kirishima there, looking at him uncertainly. He jerks his head to the side in an indication for a student to follow and leads the way to an empty office. What is it, Kirishima? I don't understand how this is supposed to work. He opens his hands and reveals a communication device. One that's supposed to go in his ear. Instead of the specifically modified one, he discussed with Sukalchi. Damn it. Let's go talk with the detective. His student dofully follows him back out the office, where the tutorial is over and his students are middling about waiting for their agencies to arrive so that they could properly check in. He locates the detective, joking around with a few other cops off to the side. Shota stops in front of him and holds out his hand to Kirishima, who places the unsuitable device in his palm. What seems to be the problem here? This. Shota shoves the device at the man. All he gets in return is a confused look. The raid team is fully aware of my student's hearing disability. I had discussed with Sukalchi about this exact problem, and he ordered a modified communication device. Shota is pissed. He'd have gotten the support course to make them something, but they're all busy with important projects right now. But this is something he should have thought about, and gotten Power Loader to make them a backup just in case. Oh, so this is who that was for. The detective looks pale, and he looks between Shota and Kirishima anxiously. Well, you see, I thought it was for an officer at another station, so we sent it off to them instead. Even though the package was directly sent to Sukalchi? Well, he wasn't here when it arrived, so I took it upon myself to deal with it. Besides, why can't he still use this one? I have hearing aids. His student finally speaks up, albeit quietly. So just take one out. Shota is at loss for words. This is rare, but sometimes somebody says something stupid enough to manage it. You want me to go out in the field half-deaf? Even if I could manage with one hearing aid, I doubt this comm would be at the right frequency for me to be able to hear anything from it. Shota had never heard his student so impatient. If it weren't for the situation, he'd found it hilarious. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. It's far too late to send for the device at another station. We'll have to be out here in half an hour, and the station is at least that far away. Shota frowns. The man is being unnecessarily rude, but there really is nothing that can be done. He can't wait to tell Sukelchi about this, and then his friend can really lay it into this guy for him. Shota turns from the detective without another word and back to a student. Kirishima looks even more uncertain than before, as he looks resultfully at the floor. It'll be fine, Kirishima. I'm not taking you out of the raid. You aren't. He met Shota's eyes. As long as you could promise me one thing. Anything, Sensei. Do not go off alone. If you're separated from everyone, there's no way to communicate with you. As long as you're with one other person, there won't be a problem. All right, Sensei. And another thing. Keep this with you, just in case. 
Shota hands him the comm. Hiroshima gives him an odd look, and pockets it without a word. Good. Now go in and check with Fatgum, and make sure you let him know about your lack of proper communication. Hiroshima gives him a small bow, before running off, nearly colliding with a few pros in his haste. Shota turns and finds Shinzo and Bakugo standing uncomfortably next to each other, waiting for him. All right, so we'll be sticking with the Night Eye and Fatgum agencies. It'll give me an easier time looking after all you problem children. Bakugo, I'm partnering you with Kirishima. He doesn't have a comm, so don't leave his side. As if I would. Shota figured as much, but he needed to say it for his own sake. I need everyone's attention. These are gangs... Known quirks. You must read through them on the way to the Siehasaikai compound to be prepared for the raid. An officer starts hanging out papers to everyone, while the detective addresses them. Once different agencies get their copies, they start heading out. Shota leads the students a little slower than he usually to go through the streets. While he's used to reading information like this on the go, his students are not. Once there, they regroup with Night Eye and Thackum, staying as silent as possible. It only takes a few minutes for all agencies to be present, and when they are, the detective rings a doorbell to present the warrant. Instead of one of the gang members opening the gate like they expected, it blasts outward, a giant villain pushing his way outside. Right away, half of the police force is whipped out. Help them! Shota yells, stirring the heroes into action and they all move to secure the officers that were tossed out of the way. Move ahead! My team will handle this! Ryuku yells at them, transforming as she speaks. Her size rivals that of the villains, and with the help of her sidekicks, it should be an easy fight for her agency. The rest of the heroes move ahead, and Shota makes sure to keep the rest of his students in sight. There's no helping that Uraraka and Su are separated from them. At least they'll be avoiding most of the action. There's more villains once they enter the compound. Most of them look confused. So, word of the raid might not have spread yet. They're relatively weak villains, but Shota is proud at how easily his students manage to take them out. Nade leads the way through several hallways, using what he's gathered with a squirt to find the secret entrance. They stop in front of a painting. This is it. As soon as the words leave his mouth, another door is blasting open and a few villains pour through. These ones look stronger than before, so Shota prepares to take action. But before he could do anything, Bubble Girl and a few other sidekicks are dealing with them. Nade pushes open the secret door, revealing the expected staircase. What's unexpected is the wall at the bottom. Nah, 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 I'm not buying it. This is, this is, this, no, I'm not buying it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You know, it's, 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 it's making us believe that we should worry about Kirishima being the one that's going to lack communication, you know, further down the line. Nah, this is a hoax. This is meant to make you think, oh no, Kirishima, he's going to get separated. And then you're going to think, oh my God, no, he's, he's, he's not going to have a way to call back or, you know, whatever. But no, it's going to be fucking Izuku. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. Unless it's not Izuku and then I'm just, you know, stupid and dumb and... <laughs> Grasping at straws. Alright, well, what's the chapter name for the next one? Of walls and separate... What? 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 Uh. It's not gonna be Kirishima. It's not gonna be Kirishima. It's gonna be Izuku. Something's gonna happen to his calm. He doesn't have a phone. And he's going to be absolutely, like, separated. I... Mm, okay. Mm, mm. Okay. As always, my raindrops, make sure to eat, sleep, drink water, take your meds. Have a wonderful day or night. Links to my Discord server and socials are down in the description. Subscribe to see more of my content. And thank you so much for watching.